Excerpts from the Kyogyo Shinsho. 6. A collection of passages, revealing the true practice of the Pure Land Way. Passages 73 to 80. Compiled by Gutaku Shinran, disciple of Shakyamuni. 73. Concerning the practice, and Shinjin that Amida directs to us, for our going forth. In practice, there is, one utterance, Ichiman. And in Shinjin, there is, one, thought moment, Ichiman. The one utterance of practice, reveals, in terms of a number of voicings, the consummation of the easy practice, selected in the primal vow. 74. Thus, the larger sutra states, The Buddha said to Mitraya, If there are persons, who, having heard the name of that Buddha, leap, and dance with joy, and say it even once, know that they receive the great benefit. That is, they acquire the unexcelled virtues. 75. Master Shan Tao, of Kuang Ming Temple, uses the phrase, down to one utterance. Further he states, one voicing, one utterance. Further he states, wholehearted thought, exclusive utterance. Passage 77. In the larger sutra, the term, even, Naishi, is used, while Shan Tao's commentary, uses, down to, gushi, although the words even, and down to, differ, their significance, is the same. Even, is used to indicate, all inclusiveness, embracing both wants, and many. Great benefit is used, in contrast to small benefit. Unexcelled is used, in contrast to, excelled. Truly, we know that. The unexcelled great benefit, is the true, and real benefit of the one vehicle. Excelled, small benefit, refers to, the 84,000, provisional gates. Wholehearted thought, in Shantao's commentary, is single-heartedness, and, indicates, being free of double-mindedness. Exclusive utterance, is the single practice, and indicates, not engaging in dual practice. The saying of the name ones, Ichiman, entrusted to Mitraya, is one voicing. One voicing is, one utterance. One utterance is, single practice. Single practice, is, right practice. Right practice, is, the right act. The right act, is, right mindedness. Right-mindedness, is, Nambutsu. This is Namu Amida Butsu. Passage 78. Thus, when one has boarded the ship, of the vow of great compassion, and sailed out on the vast ocean of light, the winds of perfect virtue blow softly, and the waves of evil, are transformed. The darkness of ignorance, is immediately broken through, and quickly reaching the land of immeasurable light, one realizes great nirvana and acts in accord with the virtue of samana bhadra let this be known passage 80 these passages are clear testimony revealing the true and real practice we know indeed that this practice embodies the primal vow in which the nembutsu was selected and adopted it is the supreme practice rare surpassing it is the true and wondrous right dharma in which all virtues are perfectly fulfilled it is the great practice ultimate and unhindered let this be known